and now we should uh, make the way from my wire. Whoops, 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 breaking too many blocks. Careful now. There we go, and go into... I think it should... Yeah, it should. It could go from below. Sure. I think it can. Why not? Place you back. I uh, won't break one here. And what is this? Uh, close you as well. Wait, why is it? Why is this one not pumping? I think it's broke my lever. Yeah, it did. Rope. Ah, there we go. All right, and now we can wire it all the way like this. And now we, I hope that we won't get any explosions whatsoever because, I mean, it is kind of dangerous working with MFSU. But, I mean, we just hope for the best, I guess. Uh, cover this all up. And let's see, oh, dirt, I need one more dirt block. Just, just one more, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey, there you go. Oh, no, <laughs> bollocks. Alright, well, let's get it from here, I guess. There we go. Thank you. And now we can place it back and back. Aha! Uh -huh. So now, as you can see, it stores up to, let's see, how many zeros it has? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it stores up, uh, all the way up to 10 million, 10 million power, or EU. And, well, it's, whoa, freaking hell, my AC controller just dropped. Here for now. It stores, and this one only stores up to the bed box, only up to 40k, uh, 400k, yeah. So, I mean, we just store, we can just now store a lot of more power, and we, I think we should, now we never run out, run out of power, but also we need to power our our quarry with it. So let's now start working on the quarry stuff. Let's see. Remove all of you. All right. And anyway, uh, did I the pipe? Yeah. Good. Good. All right. So remove you as well, and you as well. Good. So the way it works is that we can place our our energy link right next to the to the quarry so where should we place it to how about we just place it like uh, so adjacent to that so like I would say right here and then we have to wire it from my low voltage transformer all the way to the to the energy link so let's work on that but there also there, there, there is my pipe going so we have to be careful not to intersect with it right here so I think we have to go I think we should go under it, or we can go above it. Let's just actually try to go above it. Yeah. I mean, it, I want it to look, kind of look kind of technical, because it looks kind of cool, you know, just all the wires. It's not like I'm, I want to hide them. I mean, it's alright. It doesn't really matter. Alright, so, one below here, one, two below here. Somebody's calling me. Uh, one second, guys. Alright, welcome back, and, well, just got a call for some, some of my college stuff. Which I will probably talk into a different commentary because I've got some exciting new for, news for you guys. Well, not really exciting for you, but they. Well, what the hell is this? Oh, I think it's a cave, yeah. Some exciting news for me, which will affect you. I mean, the videos pretty much, not you, as like in general, but you'll get what I'm saying. You'll get what I'm saying when I make the commentary. So, uh, here it is, I think. Uh, let's just make it kind of look kind of similar. Similar. Because I'm OCD about that stuff. Alright, and now I think we can wire this stuff. So let's... I think we should go below it. There we go, never hurts. And now start wiring. Alright, I think that I'll have to make some more cables because I'm running out pretty pretty quickly. To be honest. And I'll, well, I will also have to make some more sol solar panels. Even though, I mean, 10 is not really enough. Because I have I've have so much stuff to power. Such as my you know advanced machinery and my... Oh, there is only one derp with this thing. There is only one input, so we have to connect. Yeah, we have to connect it from there, and we're not directly. No! Bollocks! God damn it. Ah, oh, my god. I don't know, it's so hard to use this drill, I, because it like it kind of like breaks two blocks like with one click. So like, if I try to break this, now it works fine. But I don't know, sometimes it kind of lags out and breaks both the blocks. Anyway, let's place up blocks. Let's place it like this. Good, good. And now let's just break it with hand because <laughs> freaking hell this thing is OP. I think I think it connects. Let's check. Let's check it from there. Uh, let's see. I mean I think it connects. Yeah, let's just check from here as well. From this point of view. Uh yeah, yeah, I think it does. I think it does. So now let's check if the quarry is running. 
Uh, where is my, you know, quarry thing, arm kind of? What? Well, okay, I'm confused now. Okay, I am pretty much confused. Well, I, I know. I mean, it should be working because I wired it all correctly. And um, I don't know. It should work. It should work, but it doesn't for some reason. So I guess that I will have to be right back with you guys once I figure out why is it screwing up. So I'll be right back in a second. All right. So I think that I know what the problem was is because I just replaced my bed box and the power was not going in from here, and I realized that. Uh, the yellow thing, this one right here, it is actually the input and not the output, so I f fucking derp. So now let's try to change all the directions. Let's, there we go, and right here. And now it should go. I'll try. No, fuck. What the fuck? Ah. Aha! Ta da! Now, we're, now, if we wire it correctly once again, it should be working. So let's try to get down here. Uh, all right, so the wire is going in. Oh my god, so much wiring, and I see my, my cable being just lost there. So let's pick it up because it's freaking. It's like one sixth of a diamond, and I mean I'm not a freaking diamond millionaire up in here. So let's try to get out of here. I just looks like I can't. Let's try to place it here. Now where's my wire? Oh, E3. Why did I type E3? No, E4. Brilliant. All right, <laughs> there we go. Uh, there we go. And now let's see once again. Now if we connect those, it should. And I repeat, it should. Even though I'm not like 100% sure, it should. The power. Okay, it looks like it. It's. Not, um. I think I might have changed the. The output for the bed box. Yes, I changed the output for the bed box. Oh my god! This is freaking disaster. There we go. Now it should work. Like, super 100%. Come on now. Come on now. Yes! There we go. This is the beast. And as you can see, guys, it should be moving, like, loads and loads faster uh, than, the, than the steam engines. Because, I mean, it's power versus coal. So, it should. Yeah, it, it is moving loads faster. As far as I recognize, so well, we got our quarry up and running. We got our power storage up and running. Now this looks like like a bit of a mess, but it's all right. Who cares? I mean, it looks kind of technical. Looks pretty cool, if you ask me. And as you can see, the power level is obviously going down. Well, kind of going down, but because it's nighttime and it's only being being powered by the geothermal generators, so it's now it's right asleep. And let's see how stable is my power. Go sleep, sleep, sleep. I'll have to, I also have to harass those guys for it. My three diamonds, my three daily diamonds. So, oh my god, getting so cold. Turn off my AC and let's check it again. Let's just start my inventory out first of all. Five diamonds, place them in my valuable chest. Now, let's check the bed box. All right, full power. I'll take that. And I'll check out my geothermal generator. Let's see, because lava should be now flowing out of it. And it is. Uh, and even though it's not consuming the power for some reason, I guess that my, sol my solar panels are doing a good job. Oh, yeah, I think it, now it's consuming. Oh, I don't know. We'll see. So now let's try to go back. And we'll see how it, how it goes. Now let's see. Let's check it out for ourselves. Check out this. Uh, yeah, it, it's it's being stable, even though I'm using I have the quarry running, but I don't I'm not using my machine, so I think that we succeed. We we guys we we did it. I think it works pretty good. It works pretty pretty good, and it's like also lighting fast. I mean, look how freaking rocket! Oh my god, this is amazing. I'll, I think that I'll, next time in the next episode I will have my second quarry up and running because this one is gonna just finish in a matter of seconds. Well, not seconds, but just like like 20 minutes and. To bow, it's done. Let's just see if our stuff is going, and it is beautiful. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching this episode of Take It With Alpha Jelly. I hope you enjoyed this. Leave a like if you find this useful, if you want the information useful, or if you just generally enjoy watching me messing with some wiring and some energy stuff. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this, and I'm out. Peace out.